All right, you've probably heard the term market maker, but let's talk about what we actually did on the trading floor. Forget predicting the future. Think of it as being the pawn shop for the entire stock market. We're always there, posting two prices for a stock, a bid. The price will buy it from you and a slightly higher ask. The price will sell it to you. That tiny difference, the bid ask spread, is how we get paid. But there's a massive catch. We have to take the other side of your trade. So if you need to dump 10,000 shares of a stock that's crashing, we're the ones who have to buy it. And just like that, we're holding a huge unwanted inventory and all the risk that comes with it. So how do you survive catching those falling knives? You become obsessed with reading the order flow, the real-time stream of buy and sell orders hitting the market. That flow is a pure signal of supply and demand. If we see a huge wave of selling pressure building, our algorithms instantly react. They lower the bid price and widen that spread, basically charging more for the service of taking on that risk. In volatile markets, spreads widen to compensate for danger. In calm markets, they narrow to attract business. Today, this is a high-tech war. We use machine learning and ultra-low latency systems to analyze order books and adjust our quotes in microseconds on .wikipedia.org. Sophisticated models predict price movements just from the shape of the order flow, allowing us to manage inventory before it becomes a catastrophic loss. So when you see a quote on a screen, don't just see a price. See a firm standing in the middle of a financial hurricane, constantly adjusting its footing to provide liquidity without getting swept away. It's one of the highest stakes balancing acts on Wall Street.